How many of us can behave like Polycarp, the bishop of the church is Smyrna? Today we see a lot of people giving up on God, giving up on their faith in God. Did you accept Christ to drop him in the face of trial or you accepted him to remain to the end? Some of us haven't even faced fiery temptations. Some of us haven't actually faced trials and we're already giving up. <laughs> A lot of Christians are faithful until they become wealthy. Some are faithful until they become married. Some are faithful until they get a good job. Some are very faithful to God until they are blessed with the blessings they are asking from God. But as soon as they receive it, they give up their faith on God. Are you giving up because of your wife? Are you giving up because of your husband? Are you giving up because of trials? Are you giving up because of temptations? Are you giving up even because of blessings? Look at what Jesus Christ said in Matthew chapter 24, 13 and 12 and 13. And because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall was cold. But he that shall endure unto the end, the same shall be saved. He that shall endure. If there is nothing harmful, if there is nothing negative, if there is nothing to bear, to bear with, why use the word endure? There are lots of obstacles on this path. But... If you can just endure to the end. If you can just endure. Make up your mind. This is not about strength. It is only those who endure to the end that shall be saved. There is nothing like once saved, always saved. Nothing like that. Even Jesus Christ said in Luke chapter 9 verse 62. He said, and Jesus said unto him, No man, having put his hand to the plow, and looking back his feet for the kingdom of God. If you have put your hands to the plow and give up, you are no longer fit for the kingdom of God. Remember this Bible. This Bible was preserved by the blood of the saints. They died. People died and gave their lives freely on the queue, gave their lives for this Bible. I remember a dream I had last month. I had a dream. And there was this young man who was being led to the stake to be killed as a matter. And there was a gate in the passage. So he was crawling on his knees. He was crawling on his knees. The Tradition is that if you cross the gate, it means you did not renounce Christ. If you cross the gate, it means you are not rejecting Christ and you will be killed. But if you want to leave, you have to stand up and say, okay, I, I denounce Christ. So, he got to where he crawled to where I was and looked at me. And I encouraged him. I said, just keep going. We are behind you. Keep going. We will soon join you. Keep going. I encouraged him. And there was this song in my mind that time. I was, my mind was full of tears. It was sorrowful. But my heart was made up that... When it comes to my turn, we will die. So he kept crawling and I, I woke up. The song that was in my mind was, For all the saints who from their labors rest. For all the saints who from their labors rest. They have rested from their labor. Blessed are those 
who have died in Christ. They are blessed forever. Wish to be one of them. Wish to be someone like Polycarp. If you see the opportunity to be a martyr for Christ, don't waste it. If you see the golden opportunity, I'm not talking about suicide. If you see a golden opportunity, don't let it slip out of your hand. Not everybody has that opportunity. 